Welcome to the Windows Computer and Security Channel and of course today is Batch Tuesday and we talked about the fact that you should actually update your Windows operating system and this month how big is it? It seemed to be lightweight because it installed quite fast on my machine and it's rel relatively lightweight 44 security flaws in total and that's not for just Windows I mean that when we say that there's a total number of security vulnerabilities, it has to do with different uh, services, different software. So it includes Office, for example, and so on. So it's not just Windows. Um, 44 vulnerabilities fixed, and uh, there are seven classified as critical, which means that it might already be exploited by bad guys, and 37 as important. Now, one of the first uh, two things that a lot of uh, people wanted fixed are mitigated here, uh, print nightmare and petit potem uh, attacks are both uh, because of change of privilege to actually modify. They are both mitigated, meaning that they um, now require that um, administrative um, say yes so the admin account needs to say yes, and it changes the way that all of this behaves. So it fixes that uh, for uh, Windows. Three zero day are fixed uh, in the August vulnerabilities. So this is important. Just that shows how important that these security fixes are. And uh, it's uh, very uh, important to Windows update medic service of elevation of privilege vulnerabilities and one of them so uh, there's uh, very uh, interesting stuff in here so check it out and make sure that you update your patch Tuesday uh, you updates for Windows 10 and of course Windows 8.1 also there's um, .NET Core Visual Studio problems there's Azure stuff Microsoft Dynamics, Microsoft Edge, which was probably fixed uh, with the security f um, updates. And I'll be checking that out because it's probably the ones that were actually fixed uh, a couple of days ago. Um, Windows services for NFS, uh, Windows storage spaces, Windows TCP IP, Windows update itself has problems. Windows update assistant, uh, Windows user profile, uh, elevation of privilege and so on. The Windows TCP IP remote code execution is one of the critical ones. Windows services for NFS, ONC, RPC, XDR driver, that's another critical. The print spooler is critical. Windows MS HTML platform is also a critical one. So uh, pretty uh, pretty interesting to see all the... Uh, the remote desktop client has a remote code execution vulnerability scripting engine memory corruption also so lots of stuff to check it out windows graphics component has one critical flaw too so uh, just make sure that you update once again simply go to uh, your settings go to update and security here simply check for updates on the page once you check for updates you should be okay for this um, and here is my update history. You should have installed something like KB500-5033 or 5030. There's a couple of different numbers, but it should be installed today uh, or in the days ahead of August 10th, 2021, as these are security updates that are important to install. Not too big this month, so it shouldn't take as long as some of the security updates we've seen in the last year where sometimes there were like more than a hundred flaws fixed for different products and a lot of them for Windows. So once again, 44 across different uh, software, but um, there are still some uh, critical flaws to be fixed to make sure that you don't get exploited. This is more important than having an antivirus. Applying these updates really makes you safer um, not an antivirus. If you don't update, you know, that's why Windows 7 is not safe for anyone because uh, your antivirus cannot protect you from remote code executions in, the most, in most cases. And um, this is important to apply. 
as this is the number one defense is updating all the software that you have. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.